Hey everybody, thanks for checking out my video. If you don't know, I'm about to depart on a 700 mile bikepacking race across the state of Washington. It's called Cross Washington, XWA for short. Um, and I just wanna give you a quick rundown of my gear and my setup for anybody who's interested. So uh, here you go. So this is my bike. It's a Salsa Fargo. My wife calls it Marge for uh, any of those of you who are familiar with the movie Fargo. Anyways, uh, so Marge has on the back here, this is where my um, sleeping bag is. Um, up here is where I keep a uh, water filter and uh, um, things go to the bathroom, that sort of stuff. Um, uh, this is this space here is another space for um, electronics and some food. And this year I've added a bunch of food stuff. So I have food that will go in here and then I'll keep some food in both of these bags. And then... I've, I'm also carrying food up here up front, so this this bag right here, uh, shoot, there's probably 4,000 calories or more in there. I'm planning on going um, a full two days without really stopping to refuel. My tent is in there. So between the tent, the sleeping bag, the water filter, and the bike, that is enough equipment to get me... Um, a, Quite a long ways. You'll notice, oh, here's one last change, big change from this year, as I went from a drop bar bike, which is, you know, those bikes that have the handlebars that curl, to this bar here, which is called, um, uh, well, it's an alternative bar. So it's sort of like a mountain bike bar, but it's alternative in that it has a whole lot of different hand spaces. So you can hold here, you can hold here, you got the mountain bike space out here, and then you've got this, is this, uh, this these are aero bars. Uh, that thanks to my man Fred at uh, Recycle in, in Ellensburg sold me these used. They're awesome. They happen to be carbon fiber. I'm pretty excited about this. But this is my cockpit. This is the area that I will be sitting uh, and uh, putting myself in for a long, long time. The reason I went with these bars out here um, is because there's a lot of single track, a lot of really um, technical writing that was honestly above my head. And I, it's still really above my above my ability to ride, but I just go slow and this gives me the ability to take care of that. And then this right here is a, um, a GPS uh, unit that has the course in it. So I basically got to follow this. This is a big upgrade from last year. Last year I just had a watch GPS and I was trying to stick to a line. This guy actually has the whole map on it. So hopefully I'll improve in that regard. And then over here is the um, Garmin tracker. So this thing actually sends information up to a satellite. And if you follow on track leader, this uh, device is will send a, a little beacon for where I am every 10 minutes as long as I'm moving. And if I'm not moving, then you don't see anything. Well, that's it. I'll give you another update on uh, Sunday night probably.